Well, hey there, people. It is um, September 19th, 2013, and I'm coming to you today with a video update. Just to let everyone know what's going on with me and the channel and all that wonderful stuff. So, uh, first thing I want to talk about is... Yeah, I've been playing the snot out of this lately. It's been pretty freaking amazing, if I do say so myself. Um, honestly, I've played the following Grand Theft Autos. I've played uh, three. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 3. Um, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Grand Theft Auto um, Vice City Stories. Um... Uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, and then Grand Theft Auto, The Ballad of Gay Tony, which was okay, I guess. Um, but honestly, I'm really loving Grand Theft Auto 5. I, it was, it's more than what I expected, to be honest. It's like, I think that it's just absolutely amazing. I wasn't expecting... I don't know what I was expecting. I was like, I was kind of, honestly, a little apprehensive about it. Um, I was hoping that they were going to go someplace different when they were announcing it, but um, they did a lot better than San Andreas. And I think that's the great thing about these four and five is you know, four was an evolution on three, uh, on Grand Theft Auto three with the Liberty City. You know, who knows? Maybe Grand Theft Auto six is going to be an evolution on Vice City. That would be pretty cool. Or maybe they'll just do something different. I don't know. But anyway, been playing that a lot lately. Thinking of maybe picking up one of those uh, capture cards. Because I'm working on this project of doing these um, uh, subway videos for Grand Theft Auto 5. But I only have the camera right here. This Kodak. So, um... I know that there was one that uh, a vlog in life just picked up that's made by Hapage. I think that's how you say it. Hapage. So I might scout over to Best Buy tomorrow. I'm definitely going to scout over to Fry's because um, I need to get a new printer. I busted my. Um, I broke my uh, Epson NX430. A uh, small in one printer. I got a pen stuck in there, and I need. I had tried fixing it myself, which is probably not the best idea. So I'm gonna get another printer. Probably looking to get another Epson because, well, I liked that Epson. It was a nice printer. Did what I wanted it to do, and plus it's an all-in-one, which is nice because um, there's times, you know, at least in my house and my family, that I need a that I need a printer to do things like scanning or copying or whatever so I'm just gonna uh, head out tomorrow and uh, take a probably take a scoot over to Fry's and see what the what is um, I also found out that they might have a vinyl collection so that's pretty cool even though I haven't used my record player in a while um yeah so next thing Upgraded this puppy here to. Oh, you don't want to see all my. Um, it's better you don't want to see all my updates and stuff. But yeah, upgraded to iOS 7. Um, honestly, I'm kind of feeling a little bit meh about it. It's alright, it's not bad. But. You know, Siri sounds weird. I'll show you. Good morning, Siri. Good morning to you, too. Oh, it's interesting. Siri's voice is a little bit lower, lower, but I think she's got a little bit more inflection. I don't know. Um, Any of you out there with iPhones, if you upgraded to iOS 7, what do you think about it? I know a couple of my friends... Um, 
RCG car reviews and Tech Dude 6693 upgraded early to iOS 7 because well Tech Dude's um you got a uh, developer's license or something that he gets he gets the early secret scroll stuff so lucky guy there um let's see but yeah Grand Theft Auto 5 is awesome there's so much stuff you can do um you know you can go shooting at shooting ranges you can go uh drive an ATV up to the top of the mountain and ride a cable car down to the bottom and or, stuff like that so um and once you get into the country like it's this huge open map and it took eight gigs uh it's an eight gigabyte file to download and i wish and i'm, I'm kind of actually surprised people at gamestop didn't tell me this because i would have like i don't know um got another flash drive or something but it works you know believe me it works so you know, it's amazing, you know, like, you can just steal tractors, and there are these big, huge tractors, and, um, big, huge tractors with cabs and everything, um, in case you're wondering, um, Tech Dude kind of sort of asked me to talk about tractors. Oh, oh, wait, Tech Dude, I think you remain, I think you meant, um, the VW Jetta TDI, yeah, okay, um, yeah, that's a nice car, I like that, um, it's a nice, uh, it, it's definitely a nice car. I really do like it. Um, kind of partial to the Passat TDI myself because my brother-in-law has the Passat TDI, but it's really nice. Um, Mr. MK94 asked me to talk about the Mazda 3. Well, okay. Um, it's definitely a nice step-up market. Uh, doesn't look like a Hyper Guppy, which is always a good thing. Doesn't look like a Hyper Guppy. Um... So, yeah, um, so they definitely take it up market, you know, it's got like push button start now and it, and Byzion headlamps and stuff like that. So I, I definitely like where it's going. Um, you know, definitely taking some cues from the new Mazda 6, which is nice. Um, I do like the current Mazda 6 though. That's, I, I was at a uh, barbecue restaurant in town that opened up, um, I can't remember the name of it for life of me. Um, damn it. Oh, God. Oh, I'll remember it, like, after I make this video. Um, anyway. Um, and I saw one and I thought that was real nice. That was real nice. Um, speaking of cars, I want to... I want to do some walk-arounds at a local dealership. It's just a matter of finding time. Because I, I posted some walk-arounds when I was like... Because there just happened to be a dealership across from the laundromat where we're at. But, um... Any hoozle. Yeah, so we're, um... Yeah, they have a 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee on their lot that I want to definitely take a look at. Look, see... It's a very similar, it's a silver one, very similar to the one we rented. If you remember seeing the one that was on my channel. Um, it's just the difference is the, um, the, uh, one that's on the dealer lot right now is a Laredo four-wheel drive with, um, the select train and it's got leather. The one that we rented was a Laredo, it just had Quadratrack quadra track 1. And it had clumps, but it was still nice, you know, it had push button start and all that. Uh, definitely hoping maybe someday we could get one of those as a replacement for our Trailblazer. A um, couple things I don't like about the 2014 Grand Cherokee though is the rear lift gate doesn't open. The lift the glass doesn't open independently from the gate, which I'm not a big fan of. And also, I'm not a big fan of um, the gauge cluster. It's just, it's one of those thin film transistors that it just looks weird. And the, the um, actual gauge part itself, just, it looks all weird and beveled and 
Um, so definitely like in the um, new one, the uh, 2013 there, 2011 to 2013. Um, speaking of cars, uh, Silverado is doing very well. I'm uh, going to post a video of the startup here. Hey guys, just going to do for this update a quick little startup at the Silverado. Forty-eight thousand five hundred and fifty-seven miles. Yep, still running like a champ. So yeah, that's doing very well. Um, Trailblazer has got a bit of an issue. Um, it's the um. The actuator in the lift gate that you know unlocks it isn't is working only intermittently. Sometimes when you unlock it, it won't open for you. So sometimes you got to reach in the back, and there's a little hole that you step that you stick your that you can stick your finger into a little access hole and pull up manually on the gate. So yeah, um. So yeah, I've got a startup video right here. Alrighty, so here's a startup update on the Trailblazer. Focus. 106. 106,389 miles. Yeah, definitely getting up there in the miles. Fortunately, uh, as you can see, this piece here is totally falling apart, and it's not going to focus because this thing thinks it's a Sony. But yeah, this piece is totally falling apart, and the lift gate thing, the lift gate is not working right now. The lift gate is totally freaking kaif. Uh, you have to reach in through an access hole in the bottom to get it to work. Yep, it's not working right now. Freak sakes. Alrighty, so, um, yeah, so that's what's going on. Trailblazer's got about 106,000, probably, probably close to 107 now. It's, you know, it's going back and forth and doing commuting duty. Um, to my sister's. Uh, four days a four days a week. So yeah. Um, I know you're probably wondering. Some of you are probably wondering what's going on with the Euro Truck videos. Um, I'm putting them on the back burner because of Grand Theft Auto Five because I'm playing the snot out of Grand Theft Auto Five lately. Um, I'm not saying that I'm not gonna do any more of them. Like, but like I said, Grand Theft Auto Five is just, you know that's the thing right now and maybe I'll do some more um maybe I'll do some more uh I don't know I don't know I'm thinking of doing it I don't know I'm gonna see what goes on with these uh print of total five videos um computers are doing well um, just fired up the Acer Aspire laptop. It's still going great. Um, but really liking that one. Acer Aspire X is doing very well. Um, you know, this, despite Windows 8. You know, I know some people have a love-hate relationship with Windows 8. I don't mind it, necessarily. Um, it's... You know, like the tile, the metro tiles kind of helped me out a little bit with the whole, um, with that whole silly, um, people are complaining about, uh, there's no freaking start button. Well, um, Acer was smart enough to put a start button. Like, uh, let me show you. Like, down freaking here, there's the freaking start button. Well, 
it's not a start button, but it's a power button. And look, there's, you know, your Acer power button. And if you go to start, there's like everything you could find in start. All your programs. You know, your iTunes, your movie maker. All that other stuff. So, maybe it's just me, but I don't know what people are complaining about. And, you know, I'm totally using this as a monopod right now. But, anyway. Um... I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as for me, uh, I'm doing alright. Work's been kind of meh lately, but you know, what can you do? It's work. There's not a whole lot you can do. Um, long story, this whole, uh, without getting into too much detail, we're going through a reorganization at work right now and everything's just kind of eh, but uh, this too shall pass. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this update video. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.